just from the skill set point of view if somebody is looking at okay i want to be into uh, like be a big data guy working on uh, either processing some other data and building data product side of it he has to know like so and it would be like so you have like specialized people in data science who know uh, machine learning ai side of it but here also we are talking about not just the data platforms per se you are also building machine learning as a platform and other things right so uh, a engineer would be building out for example a machine learning as a platform and other things and there are plenty of cloud services out there by amazon google microsoft etc which need to be leveraged right by and that is a kind of a role a engineer or a data engineer kind of stuff, stuff who understands data uh, and and uh, analytics kind of a guy and then you have specialized skills uh, within ml ai uh, itself who are leveraging primarily on the data science side of it and then building out products so it would be a kind of overlap so uh, the engineer or whosoever is looking for uh, for example would should look at like so he need to know for example 80% of stuff he need to know about for example uh, big data side of it uh, the tools the technologies and how the data pipelines and data lake would work and plenty of other things but the other 20% he should uh specialize primarily on attaining some of the skills uh, which wherein he understands the other side of it right where he understands okay how machine learning works how can i build platforms or suffice some of the needs for data science itself right so just from movie standpoint right so you have james bond and then you have q right so that that is kind of an analogy you you would play with these two uh, roles itself primarily we would look at okay uh, how like so i is that person able to understand the data side of it very well or not forget about uh, the tooling and technology side of it but understanding the data per se and then uh, like so we look at multiple things uh, accordingly for example data modeling right so uh data modeling is pretty important uh when when we hire okay because like so here and you are bringing out like so plenty of data from different sources and creating different data models at the back right so data modeling becomes one key skills for example uh, which we uh, look for the other is processing again like so here we are like so um, because uh, the technology is not limiting you to process any bunch of data but how efficiently you can process some of the stuff so an understanding of distributed systems and then like so uh, like understanding of reliable how to build reliable systems how to build scalable systems and all those things like we try to evaluate for, like when we hire those fellows it's not going um, like so if we hire for example uh, a manager into a big data team itself we don't specifically look for a data uh, kind of a manager per se right so it's a skill set like so you would leverage like for example any other like so within any other department uh, which you look for but as i said like so with if you, that guy needs to work on um, data side of it he needs to understand two things really well if from the manager's standpoint one the business side of it because like so if you only understand the data processing and other things and not like very good in understanding the business side of it you won't be able to create like good data models or serving side of it or product side of it so when we are talking about managing a big data team itself right so you are looking for both technical skills and along with the uh, business understanding side of it really well who can convert and translate some of the requirements for his team uh, for building out right data pipelines right data modeling and the architecture side of it for we don't call it like big data architects per se but like so we these are simple either principal engineers who are working on uh, architecture side of it so uh, like for example uh, you have like as i explained right within make my trip you have different line of businesses every line of businesses like coming up churning out some of the use cases which are pretty big and other things 
now as an architect you need to know okay can how can i architect this piece which can not just suffice requirements of a particular use case or a line of business itself i can generalize some of the stuff as a platform which can be in a longer run leveraged by flights hotels holidays and plenty of other things right so so for a architect he needs to like really simplify things uh, generalize more stuff and then like so build uh, data pipelines and products in a sim sim simpler manner itself just taking again like so giving a example of make matter but itself we do have these fellows in different departments and other things right uh, wherein you explain okay these are the fellows who are either working with product teams in building out funnel features doing like writing out connectors for different airlines and other things but one of the things over the period of time what it's like a evolution right so they have started like integrating kafka they are pushing out event streams to kafka in some of the cases they are also leveraging the data platform or the stuff which we have built uh, on it so they understand how the data play is right so and we have seen like and some of my team members have come from that background itself right so the key skill is just understanding how the data flow is right and it's like the technologies like kafka spark stream etc are becoming mainstream on day by day it's no longer a specialized skill uh, going forward right so if i look in future right so uh, i don't see like so uh, a person or a like would be uh, like there would be a specialized team in big data it would be like most of the people would have like i know okay uh, i am an engineer uh, i am a problem solver kind of stuff and i know okay how to leverage kafka spark streaming some of the cloud apis this do these kind of things because things are pretty much simplified by these cloud services like aws uh, google data product and some of the stuff by microsoft and other things so and the technologies like kafka and other things where like so these are going to be mainstream um so I, the one advice which like if i need to give to them is just be there just be there understand uh, what the stack is it's not like uh, very complex as like on the other side of it like so everybody thinks of, okay there are i need to learn a lot uh, to become a big data kind of stuff whatever you do in your general stuff like think of it like a input process and out output kind of stuff it's like on a scale that's it right wherein like so the input is not just a request right here is a stream of data or events which is coming as a input and again you are talking about big data processing and distributed stuff and the outcomes are again big right so that's how you need to see and then probably i'm by way into uh, mainstream itself